But looking back, it's kind of funny. It's like, okay, the NFL, former NFL MVP at quarterback, played receiver for me in high school. Because it kind of blows my mind how many how many legends have, have come through this place. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, 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 who are you? <laughs> and I, I was ranked a six star. It you goes, had six stars? Yeah. Well, Y'all just make your own rules, huh? We got banned from the playoffs. Football in Texas, it's, yeah. it's its own entity. I was committed to Texas at the time, had a, a bit of a status, and the student section was was all over me that game. So. They look kind of like Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> It's not just about the college girls, Dennis. It sucked because it was camp, and we were doing two days. <laughs> <Damn. Yo. laughs> Jesus feels it drops inside the 10, down to the 5. The Harvard sideline, he's across the 30 to the 40. He's able to fend off the defender and bring in the game's first touchdown. Yeah, so what is that podcast called? It's called, like, Momentum. Horns down. Jake Smith, baby. <laughs> and Dennis. Thanks and for Dennis. coming on, bro. Yes. And Dennis. Dude, we, we took everybody from Texas, bro. We got you, Keontae. Shout out to Keontae. We did that episode. Go check Keontae's, it out. Keontae is cool. Like yeah, Keontae is yeah. a homie. Uh, Xavion. We got Malcolm out here. Dude, even all the coaches. Coach yeah. T.O., Coach Nive. I mean, Ho I, like, hopefully your record. What, what's going better. on here, bro? It's it's just the uh, it's the Texas Rehab Center. That's what we call it. USC is. What, is um, that? what does that mean? It's where we come to be better, re rehabilitated <laughs> <laughs> from Texas our uh, from your past experiences. From our past experiences, yeah. Okay. How uh, how was Texas, man? I mean, it was all right. It uh, it just didn't work out. Didn't work out for me. Didn't work out for Key. Didn't work out for Malcolm. Um, you know, there's a certain expectation that's held at Texas, and when it's not filled, not just by us, but by the coaches, by everyone, you know, it's just uh, it can be tough to be there when you're not winning, basically. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of that stuff can be cured if you are winning, like a University of Alabama with like a Nick Saban, for example. If you win a natty every year, people are willing to put up with it, and guys are going first round. But if you're losing three, four, five games a year, then stuff goes down, especially at Texas where the expectations are so high. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's definitely a good way to put it. They shouldn't be that high. And uh, <laughs> that move to the SEC, they actually might be a bottom feeder. <laughs> no. I promise you. What Even do you mean? They finish in the SEC, right? I, what, what, is it going to be like 16 teams now? They'll probably no, finish not like, 16. Isn't there 16? 14? 14 teams? Uh, it might I, be think, 14. I think 14. 14 right? 12 so 14. 14. 16, I think 16. what would be good if, if like, two teams like Vanderbilt and and Mississippi <laughs> oh, State, whoa, for example, whoa, <laughs> moved whoa, to the Big 12. Just, whoa, you know, I'm not going to comment you on that. You want Vanderbilt to leave the SEC? Wait, wait. I mean. Come on, bro. They're a staple of the SEC it's a staple. in baseball. First of all, like, Van, Vanderbilt is one of the original SEC schools, okay, so they can never kick them out. And two, yeah. best baseball program in the country. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't think about other sports, just football-wise. I was talking about that. You got to take the big picture. Big picture, yeah. You take the Texas team from last year, you put them in the SEC, where do you think they finish? I'm saying this upcoming year. <laughs> or no, uh, 2025 when they come, I, I probably they're probably gonna finish like 12th, 11th, fully. I, I don't think they're better than like a South Carolina year. Over think they're better than Missouri. Yeah, they're better. Uh, it depends yeah. on the year. Depends, depends on, on the, the year. year. Yeah, yeah. depends on the like year. Like Vanu will sneaky get a win against Texas if they play them. I don't know no, about that. They're not one. better than Ole Miss. I don't. I, hold, day in, can day we hold out? on for a second? <laughs> no, like, they're not better than Ole Miss. I, you know, I'm not here to badmouth Texas. I'm not <laughs> yeah. here to. To badmouth Vanderbilt, but, but you are. <laughs> but Texas would beat get them, Vanderbilt. Bandy Nation. Te Texas would beat Vanderbilt. Let's not get crazy. Come on. No, I'm, and this is, the only reason I say that is because like a back to back, like the the Big Twelve is. I respect it with the teams in there, but like you go from playing like Georgia to Florida to like a Kentucky team, like you wear down so much, and then you play Vandy. Like that's a game. Like especially like Vandy. Oh, we're playing Texas. Oh yeah, like it's 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 a huge staple win i think i think vandy wins that game but probably i mean it just depends how well, the schedule the schedule's got to line up perfectly yeah i mean anything can happen and yeah. i think one of our biggest problems when i was there is we would play up and play down to our competition so yeah i mean go. yeah i mean it's not 
I think talent wise though, those those two don't quite match <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, they don't match up. <laughs> they so, definitely don't match up. But I think right. Oklahoma does well though. Yeah. I think so. They match up. Well, they just destroyed Florida in that bowl game, too. So uh, it goes to show. Count. And that was a good Florida team. That doesn't count. But yeah. yeah. Texas beat Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. When was that? A couple of years ago. Uh, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go back to your high school days. We have a mutual friend, Kyle White. Shout out to Kyle from Vandy. Yeah. Um, you were Gatorade National Player of the Year, right? So how is that? We've got uh, – you're the third guy, actually, because we got Brew – Jackson, now you. I could read some of these stats. You scored like 8 million touchdowns uh, over. There's For some reason, there's punt statistics. Like, can you explain this? Averaging 40 <laughs> yards of punt. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know you were a punter. You, you, were you the whole team? Uh, no, but we, we just didn't have anybody who could punt. So, okay. I, I have some. Uh, I played soccer when I was younger. There you go. And, uh, yeah. You did say that today, that you'd be a good soccer player. I would have been a good soccer player. Were Sometimes you a I. Yeah, I was a forward. Yeah, definitely. Pretty but, good player. but I think, uh, you know, when I was younger, I was just faster than everyone. Yeah. So, you know, soccer kind of came easy that way. I have a point way, about that. Somebody told me that you had like an extra ligament in your knee that made you <laughs> faster than everyone else. I don't know about that. People, people look at my knees sometimes, and my friends used to make fun of them because I just, the muscle down by my kneecap is kind of enlarged. Dude, I noticed that when and, I walked in. Yeah. And uh, looked at your thigh. I don't think it's an extra ligament or anything, but it only one of your legs or both? Both. It yeah, it looks yeah. kind of Is that muscle? Yeah, I think it's just a muscle. Yeah. It just pops out. Pops out sometimes when yeah. I when I stand up especially it'll just pop out, but Have you gotten that checked out or? <laughs> No. Huh. I don't think it needs to be. Yeah. You think, I think that it's makes a good you faster? Thing. I don't know, but I think it's a Are good thing. Are you a 4-4 guy? Yeah. In my in my prime. <laughs> in your prime. And now you're now you get prime? back to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little banged up right now. So, oh. Yeah. You want to explain but, what's going on? Uh, yeah. I had a I had a Jones fracture in March, the outside of my foot. Um, mm. had surgery the next day, but they want to redo the surgery. So, oh, shit. actually, on Monday, two days from now, I'm going in to have that surgery redone. Jeez. Yeah. Good luck, bro. Thank you. Yeah, you're you're explaining it to me. You can't like walk or anything for around eight weeks, right? Yeah, Something like that. I'll be uh, on a scooter for two months. Yep. Mm. So what's the difference between up. Liz Frank and Jones? Jones is the outside. I think Liz Frank is the middle two. Oh, well, good luck, bro. Thank you, Dennis. There was a funny story I want to get to that you guys were talking about. Something about the forums. For those who don't know, okay, Dennis, you're a freshman kicker. Most popular go. guy on the team. Everyone loves you. We were having dinner today. We were talking about the podcast. I said, Dennis, why don't you just come up and we'll just hang out. Kind of last minute, but we all love you. But you guys were talking about some, true. some funny story. I've heard a rumor. I want to know if it's true. Mm -hmm. So I don't look like a football player. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll put it that way. Yeah. So, like, I don't think, like, when I showed up first day in the locker room, obviously, like, no one was like, this guy plays football. Like, I, I think I remember, like, the first day I walked in, I was walking with uh, Gordon, who was there at the time. Yeah. And he walked me in. And he just kind of, like, he, he, like, left to go do something. So I was just standing in the middle of the locker room on the SC logo. And someone comes up and is like, are you lost? Like, this is the football locker room. As, and I was like, oh, no, I'm supposed to be here. And they're like, oh, oh are you a football player? Or are you, like, a student staff? Oh, and my I was God. Like, and I was this like, is a football playing? operations guy. Uh, I think this was a I a forget player? who it was. It was a player. <laughs> it was coach. <laughs> nah. Oh, it was a player. Who said it was that. a player, but I, I forget oh. who it was. I mean, they were yeah. trying to do like a nice thing. Yeah, like, yeah. help me out. Like, of course. I was like, damn. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then I remember I first day in the weight room. I had Coach Buras for uh, the whole time, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of like manual resistance stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up throwing up that day. Really? Yeah. He's intense with manual resistance. <laughs> we yeah. did like we did the um. The pull up and then like you hold the rope up and go down. Oh yeah, yeah. It took me like thirty minutes to try and get like one up. Wow. Yeah. He did. He just put his whole weight and I was like. Yeah, the training's a lot different in college, huh? Oh yeah. In high school. Also, cause my high well, cause I played high school, uh, during COVID and all that, and my high school wasn't like it wasn't like a modern day uh, St. John Bosco. Right. So we didn't have like weight training for the whole COVID. 
It's like we didn't get to go into a weight room. We didn't get to do anything. Right. And then, so, even when, like, we started to play games, which was in the spring, they didn't let us do any weight training or anything. You said you only played your senior year, too, right? Uh, I played, I started playing in my junior year, yeah. and I only played my senior year. Okay. So, I played in my senior year, and I got a few, uh, we got, like, 10 PATs the whole year. That was, like, all I did. Wow. Our and team. you just you just went off in that one year? Uh, Enough I went, to get, you know, scholarship offers Well, so I, when I started kicking, I went to um, U.S., uh, so I went to a lot of these, like, camps. There's, like, different camps for kickers, because it's, like, I know that's just Freaking, how you get it's ranked. It's a cult. Yeah, it's like it's um, it's crazy. It's like actually the, crazy. The, oh, like the, the people you camp and all that. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah. the camps? people you see at them. I went to my first one, and I was like, everyone was like mad at me because like obviously they all knew that I like just started kicking, and they had been doing it since like eighth grade, ninth grade, <laughs> yeah. and I was beating them all. Yeah. And so you had I had like parents coming up to me like, oh, are you on like steroids or something? And like yeah. all this, and because <laughs> their kids they like they send their em. kids there, and they're yeah. like, wow, they like. I don't know, they pay, like, a ton of money and all this for all this, like, oh, buy these cleats, your kid will kick better and all this. Yep. Like, it's really, it's all, like, fundamentals, technique, and then contact. Mm. So, like, I went there, and I, obviously, I was kicking pretty good. And I got ranked, uh, I think it was, like, 20th after my first camp in the nation. In the country. In the nation, yeah. Wow. So, I, I was ranked, like, 20th after my first camp. And so, everyone was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I I have a I had a big kickoff leg and no one else could like I know no one else was like kicking off as I was kicking off and this was I think April last year or something something like that and then I went to a Vegas camp which is like their national camp so it's like everyone from like all the whole country goes and I actually won that camp so I was the national oh I am the national kicking champion so. What does, what does that mean? Nice. I nice just, it's a lot. I don't. It, I. I mean, it's like just you. You won the competition. So like all the kickers, we did like a last man standing. Comp- well, we did a charting thing. So like you had, I think it was eight kicks from thirty five. W- one from thirty five. One from forty. One from forty five. One from fifty. And then I think you went both hashes, and so you kick and you charted. And they had, like, uprights, and then they had arena uprights, which are narrower. So they're, like, in the middle of the uprights. And if you kick it through the arena uprights, you get two points. And if you just make it, you get one point. I think I ended up getting, like, 13 or 14 points, which is a pretty good score. I think that's, if it's eight kicks, that's, like, six in the middle. Mm. Some, no, seven in the middle. And then, obviously, I didn't hit them all in the middle, which everyone would like to do, because then you get, I think it's 16 but I made all the kicks, so I also got an extra point, mm. which was kind of cool. And then they take, like, the top eight scores, and they put you in, like, a head-to-head competition. And you just start at, like, 50, and you go back, and then whoever can make it wins, basically. So mm. I won that camp. Are you in theory, then, you're the best freshman kicker in the country, in theory? In th- I mean, I won the national camp, I guess. But, I mean, also... Oh, so, yes. So just straight put, up, yes. put some respect no, on that. his name, bro. Check him, I want to hear him say, I'm the best freshman kicker in the country. But I'm not ranked... So, like, I wasn't ranked... I'm not ranked number one. Like, so my one of my actual best friends, he's going to Notre Dame. Like, they I kick, always get the best kicker. Huh? They always get the best kicker, I feel like. I guess, yeah. They got that one dude uh, from Milton Academy. What's his name? The Asian dude. Oh, the guy with that, like, afro? Yeah. Oh, I don't know his name. Asian guy with an afro? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he has a ginger afro. Mm-hmm. He has sick hair. A ginger really? Asian with Cooler than your hair? Oh, yeah. Uh, nah. He has pretty cool hair. Yeah. Like, it's just like... <laughs> I don't know. So I'm ended up ranked like... I think it's like sixth or eighth in the nation. And I, I was ranked a six star, yeah, which is like for kicking, it's like... It you goes, had six stars? Yeah. How? So I'm a, I'm a, I have, I, so basically with like the ranking system. Well, you're off the charts. <laughs> yeah. So there's only like, there's only like, I think there was eight people in our class that got six stars. Well, y'all just make your own rules, huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, yeah, well, it's, 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 it's its own well, thing, bro. So the kicking system, it used to be like, actually like, I mean, it's still like good and it helps a lot of kids get recruited and it's like very helpful for that. But I feel like it's also starting to become a little more money. Because, I mean, obviously, it's a business, Sounds so you like have to make money. Sounds like a scam to me, bro. What are you trying to say? It can. Like, if you're, okay, if you're good, <laughs> if you're good, you're good. Yeah. If you're okay, it might help you, 
but it, like it all kind of depends in the end i think the biggest thing for kickers which sucked for my class was we weren't able to go to like the summer camps because a lot of times these colleges you guys probably went to them for like wide receivers and all that mm -hmm. they have like the camps like on campus in front yeah. of the coaches because yeah. yeah. that's how kickers normally get like everything right mm -hmm. And my class didn't get that because of COVID. Speaking of camp, Jake, I heard uh, a story from you in high school where your school made you sleep in tents, shave your heads, and you guys stayed in the gym for yeah. weeks. Yeah, this was, for me, only my sophomore year. But uh, it was a week-long deal. It was kind of like our version of, of fall camp because in high school, obviously, everything's different. But, yeah, it was like Sunday to Sunday, we – set up a bunch of tents and air mattresses in our school's gym. It was like the first week of August, so we hadn't started school yet. But it was a blast. I mean, it, it sucked because it was camp, and we were doing two days. Yo. <laughs> the ghost of Mattress Trace strikes again. That's what you were saying? Uh, as you were saying. Uh, oh, yeah, so... It sucked, but it was also a blast because it was just all of us packed in a gym, uh, you know, kind of just messing around and having a good time. So it was a lot of fun. So you showered in a lot. Uh, I feel like in high school, people don't really shower. In a yeah, I'm room, trying so. to think. I, we, mu <laughs> we must <laughs> have. Looking back, we didn't really shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, no shower. Yeah. It was a MRSA outbreak. Did <laughs> <but. laughs> you guys uh, go, like, home? hour and shower and all that no we were there for a week straight. oh you weren't allowed to go home or anything it was no. like a summer camp thing. it was like a yeah it was almost like a summer camp thing and you guys all shaved your heads this too is yeah this well is that wasn't required that was kind of a thing you that, just did it oh, yeah we just kind of did it was it. like hey let's shave our heads yeah kind of shaving each other's heads making each other look stupid kind of thing oh really yeah huh. So I'm just kind of picturing there's 50 or however many guys. Probably you have a lot of team. guys on that team, huh? Yeah, Inflatable was, mattresses in the gym. There was probably like 75 guys and two to a tent. Some guys are doubling up. I can smell that. <laughs> yeah, it did not, did not smell good. Um, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We started, you know, stealing each other's air mattresses, stealing each other's Xboxes and stuff like that. <laughs> Hold on, you guys had None TVs. It was fun. It, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> sounds horrible. <laughs> How do you get TVs in there? And you just have like an Xbox and this TV. Is a, this is a gym. We just kind of brought like brought them like oh, extension brought cords. Them? Brought some smaller TVs with, you know, an Xbox or PS4 or whatever. Let's get back to the showering. Yeah. We definitely I mean, I mean, I Remember that <laughs> there were. I remember there were like only there were only like four showers. So That's what I'm just, saying. It's high school, yeah. So like, so yeah. yeah. I mean, you just had to, you know, kind of tough. Some guys your, are just going. Some guys for for sure not showering. Some guys yeah, for, for sure were not yeah. for a week. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. but. For a week, <laughs> most and guys, this most is like guys, two days era too, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. they got were well, you guys in like Did pads and everything. Uh, yeah, we were, so yeah, no, we you had to shower. You definitely <laughs> found the time to shower. Everybody's but. like, we're concerned for <laughs> this. Yeah, <high> yeah. <laughs> did that did that uh, did you see like the team grow closer and you guys end up having a better season record wise? For sure, we definitely grew closer and it was just a lot of fun to be there, you know. Like, those type of situations, they always suck, but, you know, by day three or four, you're so slap happy and you're with all your guys, it just becomes a lot of fun. And, you know, yeah. the the sucky parts become fun yeah. when you're with those guys. So we definitely grew closer and probably had a better season because of it. We went eight and two mm -hmm. and uh, couldn't go to the playoffs, unfortunately. But um, Restrictions? Or yeah, we got – we. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know this is on Mo's list. We got banned from the playoffs because our uh, we basically violated the AIA rules by practicing in full pads in like June. I don't know why our our coach wanted to do that. Um, yeah, he got fired after the season because of it. But yeah, we had a great year. Went eight and two. Should have went nine and one. We lost one game in like triple overtime. Who'd you lose to? Like Brophy or Chandler? Or uh, LaSalle. <laughs> Oh. LaSalle from California. De I heard about Brophy. De LaSalle? With lacrosse. Not De LaSalle. Not De LaSalle. We would have got smacked by De LaSalle. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with Brophy and lacrosse? I heard you were playing uh, lacrosse against them and they were chirping at you. Uh, yeah. we. So I did play lacrosse in high school too from my sophomore to 
senior year. You a face-off guy? Uh, no, not consistently. Only, like, certain situations. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, we beat Brophy twice in the state championship my sophomore and senior year. Beat him in the state championship. My senior year, I had, you know, I was committed to Texas at the time, had a, a bit of a status, and the student section was – was all over me that game. So what were they saying? I don't. I couldn't hear them. I just, I just saw zone? some signs. There was one sign that said like, they were stupid. One of them was like Jake eats poop or something <laughs> like that. Like yeah, that's pretty dumb. Just super like, like that. dumb. Nothing that was good. Like low key, they could have thought of some really good stuff. They could have, but like, two Catholic schools. I don't think. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, the Catholic schools are low key the worst at it. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm so sure. Were they, you saying anything back or no? I wasn't saying anything back. I was kind of You're just scoring goals, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of I walked over a few times and tried to pump up the crowd and maybe Where, maybe okay. piss them off a little bit, but you were just trying to like hype them up. Yeah, yeah. I like that. There's yeah. another story. Uh, something about a YMCA basketball league. Yeah. Damn, yeah, dude, that, what don't you play? That was Kyle's. That was Kyle's deal. I played one game, and then, uh, as Kyle likes to say, I got cut. Really, I broke my leg and had to. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my freshman year. Uh, freshman year, I played baseball, actually, and uh, running to first base. Stepped lunch, on it. Lunch for the bag and broke mm, my tibia. Yeah. 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 Isn't that, that what old. you had, OJ? Oh, fibula. Fibula. Yeah. How'd you do that, OJ? Race car driving? No, I go uh, oh, last rolled year. up last year in practice. Oh, that was last year? Yeah, man. Yeah. It was supposed to be in thud. Someone decided they would just roll up my ankle into like. <laughs> it's never in thud. Yeah, there's no such thing as thud. Really which is sad. <laughs> it really is. I guess yeah. The tibia is worse. For the, bro. That's like the weight bearing bone. It's, much it's the big one? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. much tougher to snap tibia your tibia than it is your fibula. Isn't there like two bones in your leg? Yeah. yeah. Tibula, tibia, 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 and fibula. fibula. I broke this. Like pre med or something, bro? No. <laughs> what? Oh, Dennis. Oh. <laughs> Dennis. Uh, Are you? Den- I took sports med one and two in high school, so I was like kind of interested in sports it. Sports med in high school? Yeah. So in high school, we had a sports med thing, and it basically <laughs> it taught you about everything. It taught you how to like tape ankles, how to like wrap hands, and then oh, like this is like trade school. All of this stuff. Yeah. And I also <laughs> took a class in high school. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It was really <laughs> kind of high interesting. school did you go to, yeah. bro? Uh, my high school, it was like a smart person high school. Like, we have IB classes. We're, we're a public school. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a smart smart person. Person. What does that mean, bro? Well, like, public school, right? We had, I think we had 47 people in my class that oh, had above wow. a 4 and 9 GPA. Wait, bro. What's up with these inflated GPAs and inflated stars? Yeah. <laughs> it's inflated GPA. I'm a six star. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust the GPA. A 7.2 GPA. GPA. <laughs> no, it, How do you have a GPA above 4.0? It's because I think we have AP like, class. Yeah, if you do like AP and honors, it goes. Yeah. Like I graduated with like a 4.2. Well, we have yeah. IB. Because of like honors. Yeah. We had four, IB four. classes. You guys know what IB classes are? Yeah, yeah I know yeah, what IB, IB classes are. Yeah, yeah. I, just because I didn't go to your school as me, I don't know what IB classes are, bro. I know a lot of people didn't know. That's universal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you did all IB. Is that what it is? Oh no, not me. Other yeah. people did though. Oh. That's, like my brother did that. It, <laughs> it was it like sucked. Really? So like yeah. everyone from your school goes IB in like top fifteen kind of thing. We have a lot of smart people. I don't know. I don't think everyone does because it's still a public school. We have Probably like not from oh, it's either. like a charter school. No, it's a public school. So, so how, well, it's a well-funded public school. Really, really well-funded? Like, I'm so confused. I, it, we don't have this in Miami, right? Nah, it, it, I mean, it's, <laughs> I'd say it's pretty well, it's a nice place. I'd, I'd say that. It's a good area. Yeah, it's in a good area. Was the basketball good? Oh, no, we sucked. Really? I mean. You sucked at everything? Didn't it? Uh, we were really good at soccer. We were really good at soccer. What does good at soccer in Indiana mean? Actually, University of Indiana is a nasty soccer team. I take that back. I live in, in California. University of Indiana is one of, like, I think the most national championships out of any uh, men's <laughs> soccer team. Follow, you follow <laughs> soccer, Jake? Or no? uh, a little California. bit. I watched. You said it. what? You're a soccer I'm from California. Oh. You I said was born it, in Indiana. Uh, Wait. I you went to high Irish. school in. Yeah, I thought you were Irish. <laughs> I am Irish. Okay. Bro, <laughs> all right. This all story right. is Where the hell did you go to high school? Dennis, who are you? Wait, where'd you go to high school? So, both my parents are from Ireland. And so, like, my whole, like... Ireland. Northern, Northern or Southern? Uh, like, w- West? 
that makes sense? It's like so southwest. So are they part of the UK southwest? or they're not? No, they're not. Okay, they're, so it's southern. So it's it's southwest. Mm. So it's from an island called Valencia. You know where like the you know islands that Star Wars was filmed on? Yeah. Those like islands? One my <laughs> uncle is the only person like one of the only two people that can actually bring people out to those islands. They call oh, wow. yeah, talk. I want to go. Same in the film. They call it the can we go? I mean, yeah. Have you been? I have been. Keep your word. And is it cool? I mean, the islands. Wait, so this is like where um, like where go. Luke Skywalker was. Yeah, when about, he, yeah, that's the island. Yeah, it's called the skeleton. Him and like all the little like plumpy. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm talking about? It's, it's actually like a. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Jake? Skies. You Star Wars guy? Never yeah. seen. Oh, Star maybe Wars. you could pick. No. You've never seen Star Wars. Never seen Star Wars. Nope. I don't watch that shit in the south. <laughs> he's not from Straight the south. He's from Arizona. Yeah. Oh what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, we're all confused. Uh, uh, he's definitely from Arizona. Man. We've 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 covered we've that. Yeah. We have been, not bro. covered where he's from. I, I'm confused by all the locations. Of Wait, I want to know more about these islands though. Like, so I just like, want to know where he went to high school though. <laughs> they're like protected. Um, so they're protected islands because they're like historical, Ooh. and so they limit the amount of people that can actually go on them. Because they want to like keep them pristine and all that. Really. And so yeah, you can yeah. I have like pictures of them and all that, and it's kind of like it's cool, but like you have to like take a boat out there and it's pretty bumpy ride and all that. And why does only your oh uncle have gosh, access to them? Because they so they because they're protected. Only a certain amount of people can go on there and like have access there. Like a hundred like, or a hundred and fifty. Like can dock on there. Like a thousand, uh, two thousand. Nah, they probably take like fifteen to twenty a boat, and they take like maybe two boats a day. Hmm. It's not not very many. So pri- prices must year. be crazy on that island. Uh, before Star Wars, they were not because like, no, I mean, it was like it was like a cool place, but it wasn't like it wasn't a, a destination. Yeah, it was now. It's like now it's like I gotta be. Oh yeah, a, a, like for me to, when I went there, it was it was crazy because I was like, oh, can I go see the islands? He's like, oh, I'm all booked up. You'll have to like be a helper on deck. So like I had to ha- like help him like kind of do the boating and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could actually go. Wow. Because, like, otherwise they'd have too many people. And so it was... This is crazy. Cool. Wow. So yeah. where did you go to high school? So I was born in Indianapolis. <laughs> no, And was... then I moved to California. And so I went to high school in California and middle school in California. What what high school? Newbury Park High School. It's over... It's up... Are you in North, north? Cal? No, it's Southern California. It's about an hour north. There was this big debate that we were talking uh, over dinner, even in the quarterback room. The place... In the, in the on the planet that has the most attractive females uh-huh. my submission was australia i'm curious because you're from arizona scottsdale is a popular submission ireland i don't know not really not a popular submission. um how what, what do ireland women look like uh, are they like taller it's a good question I mean, justice what do they look like <laughs> I, i'm honestly curious like every so they, every country so like eastern europe has this thing i mean they all they obviously have like diversity and all that like the average person is like <laughs> <laughs> the average person is pretty pale. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they Oh yeah, you would know. They huh? do like f- a lot of fake tans. So they look kind of like Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not like like they they do it like people get like <laughs> people get fake tans, but then they get fake tans but cuz they don't like they just turn like kind of orange. Like coming from California <laughs> and going there and seeing what like a normal tan looks like. And the fake tan, because they like overdo it. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Yeah. Because like they do that to go out and all that. Yeah. So like almost every weekend they'll do a fake tan and they just lather it on, and then a lot of times they go to Spain, because it's like kind of the party. Like, uh yeah, kind of. I thought I thought on the on the island or on Ireland in Ireland they party a bunch, don't they? Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, like, but like, like so Halloween's Dublin. actually. Yeah, yeah, in Dublin. Goes Halloween crazy, right? is a big thing. Is it in? A, uh, in the UK, yeah. Halloween. Oh yeah, Halloween's like, <laughs> like compared to here. <laughs> yeah. com- compared to it's here, so funny. It, here is like nothing compared to there. Like they'll have like really? bonfires. They'll like yeah, you don't have bonfires. It's way bigger. Oh yeah, huge, huge. Huh. They have like bonfires, huge parties. It's like all week type thing. Are they like all? all are they do they look like Instagram chicks? Like they all into like I don't know, like fake boobs, like. No, nah, that's nah. that's way more the US that's than just, it is. That's just yeah. America. Oh, okay. For sure. Okay. But I feel like they will like fight you though. Huh? Like they will hit you. They they like. I wish we were playing, bro. Like it sounds listening? like Jersey Shore, bro. <laughs> nah, there's a, there's a Jersey Shore in the UK. Yeah, like really? they're just a lot, Shore, like, it's about Newcastle. They're just a lot more feisty, I guess. I don't know. Oh, oh. snappy. Oh. 
like, like yeah. do you like that? They're, yeah. they're, built, they're like they're built more. It's like, uh, built, yeah. like bigger. Yeah, like they're a little back bigger. Built, like uh, like I, I built like, like what does that mean? I know they just know how to fight. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they scrap. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. There's so many fights. Huh? Really? Yeah. Because I mean, basically, so like if you want to go to a restaurant in like Ireland, you go to the pub. Like, because the restaurant, the pub, like, if you go to a pub or a bar around here, the food's kind of bad. Or, like, it's not bad, but, like, it's bar, it's bar food. food yeah. 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 But if you go into, like, a pub in, like, Ireland okay. or, like, Dublin, let's say you go to a pub in Dublin, it's quality food. Like, yeah. it's, like, a restaurant-type food. So a lot of people go there, and then you get your drink and your food. And it's, like, a thing. What's I going to do when you're fine? I know. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get that? <laughs> what about, uh, <laughs> what about uh, Ar- Arizona versus L.A.? Jake. Ooh. In in what? Are you talking about women still? Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to excuse myself I from I keep forgetting you have a girl. No, no, yeah. No, no, we need not so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go, the, I'll, I'll go with from, my home I'll go with my home state then. But I feel Arizona. like a lot of people like Arizona you are looking at like the colleges, right? Like the college girls. I assume if you would well, look at them. Yeah, like ASU, right? ASU is the one. Like ASU I feel like a lot of those people come from like California and all these different areas, though. He's saying you're wrong. I don't think they. I don't <laughs> think they were born and raised capita, in Arizona. Dennis, Dennis, Arizo- Dennis have you been to Arizona? I have. You have. I have been to Arizona. No, you haven't. I don't believe. I you. haven't been to ASU, but I have been to Arizona. You have. You've been to ASU, or, or? I've been to Arizona. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I didn't. Go, I went to uh, Flagstaff. Isn't that in Arizona? Okay. Yeah. Flag. That's like. That's like two and a half hours north of. Okay. Well, see, that's like is. See, Flagstaff is like <laughs> but, ski country. You know, you, but, like, you ski in Flagstaff. A, people yeah. have cabins in Flagstaff. But like AS, ASU is just like college people. Like a lot of people that are probably at USC, they don't all live in California. They're not all from California. So I can't base like my answer off ASU girls. That but it's sense. not just it's not just about ASU girls. There's there's plenty of other girls. You know? <laughs> it's not just about the college girls, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at the moms? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Is that what you're into, Dennis? Moms? <laughs> no. no. Yes. <laughs> you know what Definitely. I'm saying, no. Definitely into the moms. No, but I feel like if you had to look at moms, <laughs> LA would have better moms than Arizona. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What? You disagree? You, disagree? you haven't been to Orange County? I guess it's not LA. Beverly Hills? Bel Air? They just put Vax in their body. <laughs> right, feel I'll free, try. Feel 10, free to win. 10K on my calf. Huh? Just get well, a fake calf. I'll say this, calf. Dennis. Calf implants, I'll say yeah. this, Dennis. Based on your art, Scottsdale is a very wealthy area of Arizona. It's very similar yeah, to Yeah, I was going to say. In terms of plastic and... yeah. And fully, y- it's know. like OC. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, like OC. So that's the place to go. Isn't there like a <laughs> lake out there <laughs> <laughs> in Arizona? <laughs> well, I know everyone always goes to this like lake, like Lake Havasu or something. There's a few lakes, Lake Havasu, like yeah, Pleasant. Lake Havasu. Yeah, that's like the big yeah. party yeah. lake. That's the lake to go to. I've, I've never been to decent Havasu, fishing. Decent fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, are you big outdoors guy? Uh, not necessarily. No. I don't, I don't really big indoors guy. Yeah. Nice. So why'd you choose why'd you choose UT then? Like what other schools do you have if you, if like if you're not a big outdoors guy? I feel like Austin is like that's outdoors. I heard Austin's a lot of fun too. Yeah. I'll let you go. Well I'm not I'm not like, you know, all indoors, not outdoors. I'm not like a big <laughs> fisherman a, or anything, but <laughs> not uh, like nature. Uh You're against you know, nature? Yeah. Uh, I'm against nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh UT just just recruited me hard. Yeah. And they, you know, they really wanted me to go there. They, it is a cool place to be, you know, it's kind of a, they, uh, it's a great school, great football program, you know, especially when, when they win, um, <coughs> you know, great, great town. Like you said, Austin's really cool. Um, so, you know, it just seemed like a, like the spot to be at the time. What were the other options? Cause you had everyone in the country, right? Here was my second option. Actually. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, it so came it, was, it came down to here in uh, Texas. The final two. Yeah. Okay. I'd imagine I've never visited Austin or Texas, but I can see how that can be. Like that cell is so strong. <laughs> Football in Texas, it's yeah. it's its own entity. It's 
Definitely. Like the huge. people that are from Texas, I'll try to get them riled up all the time. I was, I was debating Keontae, like Florida football versus Texas football. And I'm half joking, and he's just dead serious, like very angry, Bro, defending the so state of Texas. Prideful. Football is such a big deal there. What about California versus Texas? Uh, California's not even in it. Really? No. Yeah, Texas reigns supreme. I don't know. Yeah. But I can, especially lie. all the money, bro. You guys have stupid amounts that you pour into the facility and the Longhorn Network. And mm-hmm. I can only imagine what an official visit looks like for a, a guy like yourself you're, coming out of high school. Gatorade Player of the Year. They probably just threw out all the stops. And it's like, how do you not go there almost? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was a great, great option at the time. And, you know, I'm here now. So yeah. it's all good. It all worked out there's in some, the end. Right. There's some pretty good official visits here. They took a guy on a helicopter, right? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Came around Los Angeles. Yeah, what did they do for your Texas official visit? I know you were tired of talking about it, but I just I'm curious. <laughs> no, nothing special. I mean, it was a pretty normal visit. Um, you know, pulled out all the normal stops, and then it ended at uh, Coach Herman's house in the Westlake Hills. That's lit. He had a sweet pad, yeah, and nice. uh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't anything. No helicopter rides. No, no parties. No, no uh, like hookers. Lakers games. <laughs> nothing like that. No money. Have you heard about, <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard about any crazy things like that over at Texas? Have I what? Have you heard about any crazy official visit stuff like that over at Texas? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> 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 you said you have. no. You have. We tried. <laughs> Dude, that story with Keontae was pretty crazy though. Yeah, did you hear about that one? No. Keontae. Well, I guess we asked him something similar. We're like, what's the craziest thing he's heard? He said, uh, usually guys can go to casinos and they rig the games for him. Or they really? just win. Yeah, they just win. win, yeah. And so it's like... In Texas? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I don't, he didn't specify any school. He just, oh, it could have it honestly oh, been okay. any school. It's like, UT? Ah, oh, they didn't do that <laughs> one for me. They didn't do that for me. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. It just came in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's I mean, all pretty the, crazy. All the SEC schools do it, though. Oh, fully. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. those guys get paid. Yeah. Those guys get paid. All right, how's it like being at wide receiver U? We've got so many great dudes out here. We had Drake. I know Justice doesn't think we're wide receiver. You, wide receiver. Um, who, who else would be? Ohio State, LSU, like Bama. We saw. Why the, are you shaking your head? LSU is for sure that we oh. saw the ESPN article. USC. Anyways, what's it like bro, being out here with see the Jamar Chase go crazy with? <laughs> bro, that man's nuts. We have good wide receivers. Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> and, good, and good kickers. <laughs> and, and, great, have, yeah. and great specialists. Yeah. Seven star crazy. kickers. <laughs> no, uh, K- KC's a legend. He's the receiver coach. Obviously, played out here with Matt Liner and all them. Um, but yeah, just the experience. I mean, you've, you just got here. I just too, got here, but right? it's been awesome. It's I mean, yeah. it's been awesome. It's a great room. We got great guys now with potential to be future legends, I think. It's, it's really cool to have KC as. As our coach, you know, a literal legend at, at USC. Um, but, yeah, we, we watched a hype video today before the scrimmage, and a lot of those guys were in there. And it's just it kind of blows my mind how many how many legends have, have come through this place. And uh, So, like, what do you guys do in meetings? Like, how do you – you guys are in there for so long. <laughs> I, like, you guys just talk about, like, you know, your foot placement and all that? Like, I'm well, just that's confused. a good question. It's a good question. I'd say most of the time, because like if you normally it's probably like the same mistakes, no? Like a lot of the same things. Oh, well, could it could or be? Like, like I feel like if you drop a ball, it's probably like bad, good defense. I mean, right? Yeah. Because we have well, a good defense. <laughs> yeah, we do. Have, yeah, good defense, we do have a good yeah. defense. Yeah. Um, boy, Drake Jackson. Uh, most of the time, I think it's just watching film. Correcting the well, film and more like the, yeah, the concepts if somebody runs the wrong route or runs the route incorrectly. So it's like talking about like the routes and all that. Like what to yeah, do. I'd say mm-hmm. it's mostly about playbook and, and route running. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's mostly just, just straight like where, you, where you're supposed to be is at the right ever, time. Does that ever do you guys not have meetings? No, especially we don't have yeah. a meeting room actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, we, well, we do, but it's like Title down, nine. It's, it's, it's downstairs. Mm. And uh, nobody no. ever, nobody ever uses it. We stretch. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the like, kicker life. There's is nothing nice. really to go over for you guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if we get a bad kick, like we'll get, we'll get, we'll like have a one-on-one talk about it and all that. But if like if we need to, um, like fix our like technique or anything, he does that. Coach Schneider does that like on the field because yeah. it's something you you can't like. 
I mean, I guess you can watch film on it. But, like, it doesn't help just to watch. You kind of want to, like, do also. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd like, say most of meetings are more about the mental aspect of it, knowing what yeah. you're doing, knowing how to do it. You guys got to know all these, like, hand signals and everything. Yeah. That, get yeah, confu- yeah. that gets confusing, huh? What do those Definitely. hand signals look like? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I- I'm curious before we get off, who's – uh? One of your favorite receivers, or who do you think is like one of the best receivers in the in the league? Um, I think Devonte Adams is clearly the best. Clearly, clearly. Wow. Uh, on Julio, right now, yeah. Tyreek Hill in his prime. Julio in his prime, I'd say Julio is definitely okay. better. But I think Julio, Julio is still great. Probably number three <coughs> on my list. This is number two. D Hop. Wow. Oh, okay. DeAndre I, like I, I just feel like that. So Stephon Diggs isn't even top three. No, Stephon Diggs not top three. He's probably he's, he's probably five. four or five. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, the disrespect that's coming to a lot of players right now is 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 kind of alarming. Who are we missing? Who are, you, who are we missing? You're gonna say I know you're gonna say. Bro, Tyreek. He's probably he's, he's, probably he's probably four. He's probably four. He you just said. <laughs> <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just said Diggs was four. I'll give four and five. But okay. Also, but also, okay, he'll I'll give he'll four. But also Diggs Michael five. Thomas, like my bro. He broke the NFL record for most catches. I forgot about – yeah, they call him Slant Boy, right? I feel oh, like he runs the slants. It's so like when you guys look at, like, wide receivers and – like, I know tight ends like, a completely different thing, but they kind of run, like, wide receiver routes now. Yeah. Like, they're kind of, like, just big, and they run, like, as fast oh, as wide fully. receivers and all that now. Uh, not as fast, but, yeah. I fair. don't know. I've seen a lot of people run quite fast. No, not <laughs> even. <laughs> I've seen a yeah. lot of fast people. Kyle Pitts ran Maybe Kyle Pitts, yeah, Kyle Pitts, but that's a new about generation. Yeah. So you, so you, but you but you said Devontae Adams. So why Devontae Adams over those guys that were behind him? I think he's the best route runner mm. out of them all. Uh he probably has the best hands. Maybe maybe D Hop there. They both have great hands. Incredible. Um and it helps when Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback. I mean the production that Devontae Adams has is just, you know, second to none in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um you think Adams is a better route runner than Diggs? And I was Judy? talking with you and Stefan Diggs. And Judy? Me or him? Jerry Judy. Or Jerry Judy's a great yeah, route runner. Yeah, Judy and Ridley are. Jerry, yeah. Ridley. Ridley. No, no, they're, Ridley. They're, 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 they're Ridley, Ridley, Ridley is slept on. Ridley straight. goes stupid at route Ridley runners. Ridley is slept like, on. Wait, we just can't just throw them into like the top five. No, no, we're just saying straight route running by itself. Ridley is top ten. for sure. Adams. Yeah, he just said number one. Yeah, I, know, I would agree. I would agree. And Devonte Adams released. And then Michael the Thomas. And then like I would, th- I would put Amari, I put Amari above Cooper Diggs. before those guys. Before those guys. Before who? For route running. Before above step on Diggs. Calvin not, Calvin on, Ridley might be number two. His routes. His route his running. His routes are bro. But come on, dude. He might be number two. Yeah. I'm just saying. I can agree with yeah, I wish they'd show your face right now. Yeah. Yeah. I can agree yeah. With yeah. Five people ahead of Calvin Ridley. Like Keenan Allen? No, where's the respect for Keenan Allen? Uh, yeah. He runs oh, great routes. Uh, they, they, they all run great routes. Run. It's, yeah. it's, it's hard, hard to, to between. It's hard to pick like exactly yeah. who's the best at this. Who's so the best if you player. had to pick somebody, you're like, I need to go into a game. You're picking Devonte Adams. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Is there a specific guy that you model your game after? I mean, I wouldn't say I model it after. I kind of try to do my own thing, but take bits and pieces from everybody. Like, yeah. the, I, I watch Devontae Adams' releases a lot. I think his releases are the best. Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard to – I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a good question. I'll think about that one. Yeah. Do you ever get annoyed by – like when I watch the NFL draft and it's like a white guy, or like a white receiver or something, the stereotype, it's like high football IQ, like scrappy guy, gym rat. Odd yeah, or like deceptive speed. <laughs> do, you, do you ever do you ever get Bro, any of that? Who are they saying well, I, that about? Because the, the last white dude I saw get drafted, Andy Isabella, is the fastest no, guy. In think the draft. of think of the way people describe like an Adam Thielen, for example. I was gonna say Adam Thielen, but I didn't want to conform to that stereotype. I was well, gonna I thought, say I thought I that's modeled, what you were gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. But then I was like, I was like, good receiver to be. He's at. a very good receiver. No, uh, I, but, am I wrong though? It's always like, oh, deceptive speed. You yeah, know, definitely. Jim Rat always watching tape. I'm trying yeah, to figure out like, who oh, you're talking athletic. about. Who are they talking no, about? No, no. Whenever you turn on the NFL draft, that's always, that's what, always white, the case. What white Not necessarily receiver. receiver. It could be, like, even, it could be a did, linebacker. Was there a white, re- white receiver that even got drafted this year? No, I didn't, I I didn't mean just receiver. I mean oh, any okay. position. Linebacker. Oh, no, I see you know what I'm saying? Position, like, say, like right? Harrison Smith, for example, him coming out. Or like any linebacker. Oh. Yeah. What's the question? 
<laughs> you're asking. I, I kind of forgot. Asking, like, uh, exactly like, the question was. Like, is that annoying? Like that you get. I don't think it's annoying. No. No. I don't think it's annoying. Um, Motivational. <laughs> chip on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, Bulletin board. No, stuff? I, I I really don't care you about care? that. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's more of a. I mean, I play quarterback, so it's different. But it's more so just observationally. It's it's just kind of funny. I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, guess. sometimes <laughs> it's true. So yeah, for mostly, sure. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's why it's a stereotype. Sometimes it's true. Well, yeah. I mean, even black quarterbacks get that. It's like one hundred percent. It's like yeah, yeah. they got he's, like, he's, he's athletic. athletic. He's, he's athletic. Like, he's got Lamar Jackson. Jackson. They want to they want to move him to receiver. Oh, dude, when it like especially like at the pop Warner. I mean, that's why, you, like, a bunch of them just get moved to receiver and, like, flushed yeah. out instead of, like, growing up and, right. like, culture him as a, a, a quarterback. Sometimes it works out correctly, and other times, no, he should stay at quarterback. Like, Lamar's, yeah, yeah, Lamar's like, the obvious example. And then on the <laughs> other end, I think of Tutu Atwell. He's from Miami. He was, like, a four-year starter at Miami Northwestern High School. And, you know, very good quarterback, but he didn't really have offers at quarterback. Louisville said, come play receiver. What is he? Oh, yeah, second round pick, awesome. LA oh, yeah. Rams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lamar. I w- I'm a huge Lamar fan. He was like my favorite college player ever, behind uh, DeAnthony Thomas. But I hated that. I hated when he was coming out, and everyone was like, "He needs to move to receiver. He needs to move to receiver." Yeah. And I just hated that. I th- I always thought he would succeed at quarterback. So. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, funny Lamar Jackson story. He was so we played uh, seven on seven my freshman year of high school. He's a year above me, so his sophomore year. And he played receiver for us in on that seven on seven team. I was the quarterback. No shit. Uh, and so when that whole thing was going down, I was like, dude, he played receiver for me. He was just messing around, obviously, in like the tournaments and all that. And he was yeah. a really good receiver yeah, because I it's bet. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Um, but looking back, it's kind of funny. It's like, okay, the NFL, former NFL MVP at quarterback, played receiver for me in high school. Yeah. It's crazy. He's yeah. only a year older than you, too. That too, yeah. yeah. Oh. Thanks for bringing that up. That's the and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Bro, that's the crazy part. I was watching. Oh, sorry, this is going too far. But I don't know if you guys watch the NBA. I watch a lot. You of watch the, a lot. Yeah, of NBA? a lot. Yeah, dude. A lot of those guys that are getting drafted now. It's more like age is a almost a bigger factor. I mean, obviously potential than anything. Yeah. Like I mean, you look at the Spurs pick. Um, Seventeen year old, right? Yeah, dude. Freaking yeah, young. It's crazy. Like it's, it's so crazy, right? Guys and like, a year younger than me just got drafted. Yeah, just got night. drafted. Like, and like four or five years down the road, they're still super young. Yeah, but they they signed $200 million contracts. Oh, like Luca, yeah. Luca's like 22 years old. I know. I was confused. And just signed for like $207 yeah. million, dollars, which yeah. blows my mind. One of the things I found crazy was the Olympics. Like there was some like 12, 13-year-olds yeah. out there. And then I yeah. What sport? There was uh, that Chinese skateboarding. There was a Chinese diver. They who was they like, like won medals bro. too. Like thirteen years bro, old. Bro, in China they gold. be pumping out yeah. athletes. One gold. China, yeah. China be yeah. pumping out athletes, man. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'll chop this up. Thanks for coming on, boys. Yeah, thanks for having that was, us. We got into some interesting topics I did, did not think we would get into, but I thought it was hilarious. It was really good. <laughs> Dennis, thanks again, brother. Yeah. You killed it. Jake, you as well, brother. Still, Still think California has better football than Texas. Oh wow, that's that's gonna get a lot of comments. Oh, yeah. Wait, give us your socials. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where could people uh, reach you? I have a feeling that you guys aren't big on social media. Have you Not seen really, Dennis's no. social media? <laughs> well, I, I was really just saying, Jake. Hello, yeah. DMs. Oh, well, I get Dennis's everything. message DMs. requests are like ninety nine yeah, plus. Have Dennis, you, have you, are wait, they actually Dennis? Huge I want to get into social. this. Have you, yeah. Yeah. have you had any girls message you? Like I have indeed. I've had a lot of people follow me, message me, everything. all that any, jazz. Any uh, baddies? I respect all women, and there's a few out there that are very respectable. <laughs> so, have you responded to any? Entertaining anything? Or no? Are you you're a free agent, or what's the status of Dennis? Just so everyone can. I mean, I guess I'm a free agent. Yeah. You're fielding options. Yeah. Okay. Surveying the. Big into football right now. We got a lot of a lot of stuff going on in football. <laughs> got fall camp basically there from. Like six a.m. to eight. Yeah. So I mean, kind of busy. In between meetings, you scroll through the requests, you know. Oh, I, I'm public. They just it just says you followed me. No, no, no. But if you don't follow them back, it will go into your requests. DMs. Like, oh, DMs. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah that. Yeah, yeah. I saying. thought you meant like them following you. No. No, that, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I get. Yeah, it just goes in DMs, and right. then you get everyone always gets a lot of those like spam, like click this link and all that. There's a lot of those. Oh. 
And then there's just a lot of like random moms. Yeah. It's oh, weird. Random That's moms. where it came from, Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Gavin, well, I feel like Gavin has like a lot of moms that follow him or something. It must or something like this. Bro, you're into you moms. You get a lot of moms. I don't respond to the moms. You're really into moms. <laughs> you get a lot though. of moms. Did you give us an example? He's into moms. Huh? Like, what do they be saying? There's nothing wrong with that. They're just like, hi. I don't know. That's most of them just say hi, and I don't. Respond. They just say hi. Yeah, I don't know. How about how about the college aged females? What do they say? They're like, "Oh, Dennis, are you famous?" How do you say? I say I play football. And then what do they say to that? Duh. I don't know. <laughs> and we just uh, talk, I guess. Get the chat going. Your your banter. Bro, this is so, the old this is so cringy, bro. The I can't. Are flowing. Yeah. I don't know. Safe. All right, that was great. Wait, Thanks. Get their socials. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your social? Follow me on Instagram at Dennis underscore Lynch underscore. <laughs> Jake Smith 35. Are you number 35? No. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of Jake Smiths out there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> one one through 34 was taken? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yo, Jake, say that again. Is that your Instagram at Twitter? Or you uh, that's, that's Instagram. Jake, uh, Jake Smith 27 on Twitter. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what number are you? Like, well, well in high school, here, I wore right, number one. Right here, at USC, what number are you? I'm number 82 you at Pick USC. that number? No, I did not get to pick that I number. I didn't get to pick my number either. <laughs> <laughs> Jake I, Smith, I, I, 27, I, Jake Smith, 35. Snapchat? Think, Snapchat? Uh, Jake Smith, what? 40? I don't even know. Made it. 43? I feel like, so it's yeah, a bad, probably it's a bad like name, 88. Huh? No, that's fine. Huh? It's fine name. No, his Snapchat, because like he says he doesn't know it, oh. but he knows his name. Like you always know your name, and like, I like you ask a girl, they're like, "Oh, it's so embarrassing." It's like, you probably made it when you're like sixth, seventh grade, something, and it's like Haley loves to dance or something. Yeah. What's yours, Dennis? <laughs> yeah. My what's, Snapchat. What's yours, Dennis? My Snapchat. Don't for the women or watching at home. For all the women, want to add you. It is. is. Well, you just said you know it. <laughs> 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 but you have to look. I gotta make sure I get it. Right. Oh man, it's over with. Dennis. All right, D-E-N-I-S-L-Y-N-C-H-3434. There you go. All right, so for all the ladies who are watching, we, we've got we've got all the all the new students coming on. Hit up Dennis, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that. He's fielding requests. All right, thanks, boys. Appreciate you. Yeah, all right. <laughs>